Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Let's start. Here in this video, I'm going to explain the basic structure of HIV. First of all, HIV is an enveloped virus. What does it mean? It means there is a lipid bilayer outer membrane. But interestingly, it is not their own product. It's a stolen material. Yeah, it's true. It happens in microscopic world also. They snatch it or stole it from the host cell membrane while coming out from the host cells. So they are the microscopic thieves. There are some important protein molecules, better I should say glycoprotein molecules which are present on the lipid membrane and helps the virus to enter into the cells. One is transmembrane protein which is also called GP41 and another is GP120. GP120 molecule helps in the primary attachment with CD4 molecule and GP41 helps the virus to fuse with the host cell membrane. Here it is GP41 molecule, here GP stands for glycoprotein and the number is nothing but molecular weight and here is the GP120 molecule. Okay. As we all know HIV affects the CD4 positive cells. First of all what is CD4 and who are the CD4 positive cells? CD4 is the cluster differentiation molecule present on the surface of immune cells. They are basically glycoproteins. Different types of cells have different cluster differentiation molecule. It has different types of molecular functions. We already know that it acts as a receptor for the MAC class 2 molecule. But it also acts as a virus receptor. Here GP120 molecule loves to bind with the CD4 molecule. It is called primary attachment. As soon as GP120 attach with the CD4 molecules, the CD4 positive cells get activated and express some other chemokine receptors such as CCR5 or chemokine receptor 5 and CXCR4. They are accessory receptors or co-receptors. Here I would like to mention that CD4 positive cells not only the T helper cells. There are other types of cells like macrophage, dendritic cells, Langerhan cells and microglial cells. They are all CD4 positive. Now the important point is the active site for T helper cell is CXCR4 and for other CD4 positive cells here CCR5. When the HIV first enter in our body primarily it has affinity only with CCR5 receptor which means it only affects macrophage and other dendritic cells. After few generation it acquire the affinity with CXCR4 receptor. That is why initially for a long time CD4 positive T helper cell count is normal for the patient. Another important point is previously it was believed that once a person is infected with HIV definitely it will develop AIDS. But surprisingly, there are 10% lucky people who can survive without any treatment. They are the Northern European descendant people. And scientists found that these people have a mutation in the CCR5 receptor area. So HIV cannot bind with, this, with their cells. They have natural immunity against HIV. And scientists already made a drug against this CCR5 receptor. Do you know what's the name of this drug? It's just like to put a rock on that receptor. Yes, the name of the drug is Maraviroc. As soon as GP120 attach with the CD4 molecule, it gets activated and ready for a toxic hug. They express two hand-like projections which bind with the co-receptors, which leads to further activation of GP41 molecule. GP41 molecule then pulls the cell towards it and gets fused with the cell membrane. Here you can see just inside the envelope there is matrix protein. 
which is made up of GP17 molecule. And inside the matrix protein, here is the very important part of the virus, which is called capsid. It is made up of P24 molecule. P24 molecule has a diagnostic importance, you know. Serum concentration of P24 antigen are high in the first few weeks after infection. So it is used for RD diagnosis even when the antibody levels are very low. Capsid contains two identical RNA molecules. It is important to know that they are not complementary to each other. They are two separate identical molecules. Capsid also contains three important enzymes which is necessary for the replication process of HIV. You can remember it like this RIP RIP or rest in peace. I have already made a picture. Here R stands for reverse transcriptase, I stands for integrase and P stands for protease. And here the R is reverse. So you can remember that it is reverse transcriptase. That's all for today. In the next video, I am going to explain the pathophysiology and mechanism of action of different antiviral drugs. Thank you.